Hey everyone, it's No BS Catfishing. We got a package today. Should be my light for catfishing. Uh, let me show you all here. If I can get it to come up here. Well, right there is the one it's supposed to be. Just if anybody wants to see any information, I'll hold it there for a second. Of course, it's a 12 volt. <clears throat> I should be able to hook it to any 12 volt power source. So we're going to open it up and see actually what all's in it. <clears throat> if I can get you situated here. Box seems awful light, actually. Try to keep the turn the box all the pieces. They actually had to send me another one, but the other one got lost in the mail, so I had to. Oh. It's a box within a box. This is even getting smaller. And right there we go. This is a camping lot. <laughs> Seems awful small, people. But maybe big things come in small packages. wires and stuff in this box of it. Okay, let's see what I want there. We got a bag. Well, that'll be pretty nice if it works good and still be compact. Sometimes it's equal on it. Hmm. Okay. We got that. Not sure how that works out there or what, but seems like it should be in the other way. Maybe it screws out. It does it screws out in the Okay. Pretty much you just gotta spike the nut on it. And we'll screw it back in the other way. Of course the nuts tighten it down. So I guess they can stick that in the ground. Which may be okay, depends on how far this thing extends. Okay, this is our telescopic pole. See how far it actually does reach. I'll turn the phone around just to show y'all. <clears throat> Looks like it's coming out pretty far, actually. Here, let me show you. Y'all see that? That's a pretty good distance, and I don't think I have it extended completely. Make sure I do that. Yep, there's another section. Does seem a little flimsy, but what I've noticed on some of the videos is that people like them where they are a little bit more flimsy, so they will bend down and not straight over top of you. 
that's a pretty good distance. I'm not sure about it holding that spike holding it up the way it's supposed to, but we'll see. Okay. See like it should go down for there it goes. Okay. Now we got the light. Ooh, it's really light. Light light. It's a light light. This could be delicate. Break something more right at me. This thing seems like it might be really fragile. Yeah, yeah, that. Some kind of little thing there. I guess I'll have to figure it out. Oh, this is the, uh, apparently it screws into the back of it, maybe? Nope. Don't sure in the back of it. But it's got some. It's basically a metal plate, really. Not sure what that is yet. But, I heard a few guys said something about the. Uh, where the wires go in it. And I don't know if this is the same one or not. But if you can see there, they actually put something on there. Can you see that? Where the wires go in it. So that may be a plus. I went up breaking this thing. I can see it already. But maybe not. Okay. Let's see what else we got in here. I'm still not sure about this here. <clears throat> I don't see nothing. Okay, maybe I do see something. Apparently, you just put it through there like that. Okay. Maybe like that. Maybe it'll go through there. Maybe it lined up, maybe. How hard can that actually be? I guess that is the question. Okay, let's see how it swivels after I get it on here good. Okay, if I've got it up like that. Okay, well we do have a pretty good range of motion there. We just tighten it down the way we want, I guess. The metal plate actually seems it's about a, a sixteenth maybe inch thick. It's metal, so. Okay. <clears throat> Got a connector there. And, here's what else we got. These wires seem awfully thin, but. I guess it's the good and the bad. I mean, these, these are. These wires are fairly thin, but at least it ain't a heavy wire on that pole, so I guess we just plug it in and put it in a battery source. 
Now what we will do tonight is we're going to try this thing out. I'll go live and we'll see. Actually, here, let's fill these up. Okay. You can see it's just a light panel. So we, we'll leave that on there for now. And we just disassemble it, I guess, and throw it back in the bag. I don't know about all this stuff putting it in there, but it may not hurt. Since I got the bag, to just try to keep it protected, I guess. We'll just wrap it back up. Because I don't get we need it banging around in there with the rest of the stuff. And before I lose that, I better just go ahead and put that back in there. Okay. Pull it back up. I mean, all in all, I guess it may work pretty good. I just see something on the bottom of it. I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe y'all can see that pretty good. To hang it up, maybe. I'm not for sure. But here's our thing. That seems kind of wobbly or whatever. But. I guess we could hang it with that or something. I'm not sure. We could always bolt it to something if you had a little bolt. It may not be a bad idea. As far as this spike and holder, I'm not sure about that. So we'll just stick that thing back down in there. We're going to try this out tonight though. I live up here next to Norris and I know there is some smaller flatheads over here in the Cove Lake so we may just go get us night crawlers and a little bit of fresh bait. I don't think they will hit the skipjack, but we can get us a few little bluegill, throw them out, see if we can't get something before we're testing this light out. But there it is, 50 bucks for a little bitty package, which is actually better than a big package in a sense, I guess, if it works good. I'm going to show you the... Uh, Link front, or I guess say the link thing or the page again, or I guess you can just. I don't even know what that says. Jumping something, I don't know. Looks like a bunch of abbreviation or some Chinese stuff to me, which I'm sure it is China stuff, but here you go on the. Uh, there's what it is. If you're interested in even thinking about getting one in price down there, it's like $44, it's probably about $50 or something afterwards. But there you go. But, tune in tonight and we'll see what we can figure out on how it works. And I'm actually going to take, probably take a battery with me. I'll just throw it in the trunk. I've got one out here that I took out of the car. End up getting a new one, so he should have plenty of power for that little lot. Probably try to find an alternative source to, to a regular battery, but who knows? Long fishing trip. Throw the battery in the trunk, set it up, and you're good to go. Oh, there's Sierra over there. She's kicked back in the air. 
little crap. Go go. Hey go go. What you doing? You being lazy? Are you being lazy? Yep, she's being lazy. <laughs> Okay, y'all have a good one. Hope you all tune in later.